Okay, let's speed this up because I'm curious to see if we're going to rip the whole back off or not. Oh, why are we flying? Holy crap, that wheel made us fly. Did you see that? Well, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of BeamNG Drive. Today we are checking out a new update that has happened in BeamNG. It's called the Electrifying Update because, yes, we have an electric car now. This is the Hirochi ESBR, and it is a fully electric model of the Hirochi SBR. So yeah, this thing looks amazing. It looks really weird not having exhaust back here, and uh, it should be really fun to drive because I know with electric cars, they have crazy amounts of torque, and well, obviously they have no engine sound, so it feels really, really weird. So we're gonna check out this today. We also have some mods. Also, we're on Italy because Italy did get a few updates. It now has uh, like hospitals, police stations, things like that. They also added a whole new town, so hopefully we can check out some of those today. But we're mostly going to be focusing on this beast. Now, I'm actually not even holding down the throttle right now. It feels really weird driving a car without almost any sound. And I gotta say, it doesn't feel like I'm going that fast, but I went up to 50... Oh my god, I understand. Really relentless in this thing. And look at that. Already 80 miles per hour. I honestly don't feel like I'm going 80 miles per hour, and that's just because I'm so used to lo loud sounds. It is ridiculous. Don't know why we're at the gas station. We clearly don't need to be here in this thing. Oh, look at the engine, too. Oh, that is so cool to see uh, the amount of detail that goes into things like this. I mean, obviously, it wouldn't have an ordinary engine block. It has electric engines and giant batteries, which I'm assuming is where these plugs are going to on the sides. All right, but let's actually try and drive this thing. Now, it also has a really nice cockpit view. You got, like, GPS on both the middle console and by your speedometer here. Uh, you even got, like, readings of some sort. Range readings. Oh, wow, it actually has range readings on this. That is so freaking cool. So, yeah, it's going to take a while to get used to this thing. And just because I'm, my mind is so... Oh, my God! My mind is so used to, you know what, let's just reset that a little bit, there we go. Uh, to just the noise of an engine kind of dictating how fast I'm going. When I don't hear anything, and it visually doesn't look like I'm going too fast, I just assume I'm not going fast. Like, it does not feel like we're going over 100 right now, but oh my god, we definitely are. And the understeer on the Hirochi is not the greatest, so, uh, yeah, trying to deal with this on the Italy roads is going to be fun with all these windy turns. All right, having just a beautiful drive on Italy's coastline here, and upcoming is a new village that they added to the map. This is called Portito Village. There's a lot of little little uh, villages on the Italy map, but this one's actually rather large. I mean, it's nothing crazy, but it's actually really nice to look at. And this is all brand new, so I'm assuming it just used to be a road that went through this part of the map. And they decided to add a little village here. Nothing too crazy, but uh, it's always nice to see, you know, different outskirts uh, with villages and whatnot. And look at this. We got some sort of really old tunnel. Whoa. Is that like a boat ramp? I'm assuming that's... I mean, that has to be what that is. Well, we're not a boat, but we... Oh, what? It's stairs. Okay, well, I definitely shouldn't have done that. Actually, being that we're an electric engine, we can drive underwater. I didn't think about that, but we wouldn't get waterlogged. Oh my god, that's really cool. Can we get up back up here? I highly doubt it. Okay, that actually was a good test, though. So yeah, the uh, electric cars do last a little longer underwater. So yeah, very Italy-inspired, and it very much feels like that. Where does this go? Oh yeah, we have a little dock over here, and we can... Oh, they even changed the uh, the sounds of the road over here. That's really cool. But yeah, we have a little dock. I think that's pretty much it for this part of the update. There's been a lot added to the Italy world, though. We're not, we won't be able to check out all this stuff today. Uh, but yeah, there's hospitals, fire stations everywhere. They're supposed to update the airport a little bit. They updated the port a little bit. They even added petrol and charging stations. Being that we have electric cars now, we need those charging stations. So yeah, I love the, the, the dedication BeamNG has to the realism of some of these maps. And Italy seems to be one of the best maps now. And the more I play it, the more I realize that. They also updated the castle in the main part of Italy here. I don't actually, I didn't check out Italy as much as I probably should have, but I don't know if you could drive into the castle before. But now, as you can see, you can totally go into the old castle here. I, obviously, we can't really do much in here. Can I actually read that? 
Uh, oh wow, you can actually read it. So now we're basically just sightseeing in an electric car in Italy, but yeah, you can definitely read that. You have to get really close to it. Uh, looks like, oh, I love it. So they're probably still working on this. Hence the scaffolding here kind of showing you uh, that the developers are working on it as well. If we could go through this whole castle, that would be amazing. Right now it's kind of just a courtyard, but still really cool that you can go in here. So yeah, there's a lot more to Italy to check out, but uh, that's some of the stuff in this new update. What's going on with my car? Something is clearly broken on it. I have been hitting walls like crazy, to be fair. Oh, hey, look, the charging stations. Awesome. All right, you know we got to do this. We have to compare the gas guzzler versus the electric one. Now, we're using the twin turbo model here, and uh, there's no way to actually queue up a race. So what I'm going to actually do is trick the game into driving both of these cars at the same time. Um, so yeah, that looks pretty good. I think we're pretty much on par. Now, this is the twin turbo version. Like I said, there's a lot of different gasoline versions. I believe this is one of the fastest road model versions. So this should be this one's counterpart. This is the high performance edition. There's also a middle class and then a starting one, which is much slower. So, uh, what we're going to do here is rev the engine and pause it. And then we're going to go over to the other one, and we should hopefully be driving the, both of the cars at the same time. Now, I can't control the blue one, so hopefully it goes in a straight line, give or take. And we'll see if we can beat this thing. So, one off the straight, but look at this. The electric engine right after that did beat him. Now, that's going a little bit off course, but holy crap, there's the finish line right there. We destroyed the gas guzzler with that one. You better slow down, bud. All right, well, you're definitely not. I'm slowing down. Wow, that thing's got some speed on it, too. Look at that. Have you ever skipped a car before? Now you have. All right, we're going to try and fight it against the biggest of guns. This is the Hill Climb Asphalt Edition. Uh, so this is obviously aftermarket, and uh, it should technically win. It's got a higher value compared to the electric equivalent. So it beat the road version. Can it beat the Hill Climb version? That's what I want to know now. So full throttle. There we go. We paused it, and once again... Good luck to the gas guzzler. Let's see. Had a much better start that time. You can see, though, I thought we would beat it off the line at least. Wow. Okay, so it doesn't look like it's going to beat the hill climb. It's going to be close, but the hill climb is getting away a little bit, and he indeed did win it. So, yes, we still can't beat the hill climb edition, but obviously if we had the electric equivalent of an aftermarket performance model, I think it would still win it because... Oh, no, 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 stop. Don't do that. Okay, there we go. Uh, whenever I go in reverse, look at this. Look how fast this is. Jesus Christ, in reverse. So I want to see if it can maybe beat itself in reverse here. Let's just see how fast it is. I guess we'll, we'll race this since it's already set up. I don't know if this is a thing with electric cars or if it's just this model, but yeah, it seems like it can go just as fast in reverse as it could forward. So here we go again. Oh, oh, I accidentally reset there. Let me try that again and hit pause instead. There we go. And this is going to be really weird. Uh, if we can somewhat keep up, I would be amazed. All right, here we go. And backwards. A little bit of more spin. I'm assuming that's due to the difference in aerodynamics. Okay, he's in the grass, so he's definitely going a lot slower. But look at this. We're going 150 miles per hour in reverse. I actually don't know how fast we went forward, so I kind of want to... That dude just went through the freaking mountain. I want to see if it can tie itself going forward and reverse. All right, let's see how we can do here. So, obviously, I spin off the line a lot more. Yeah, it's looking like uh, it's just the starting spin, just mostly due to the aerodynamics, I think, because now it looks like we're going at about the same speed. Uh, so, I think this thing can indeed go as fast backwards as it can forwards. You know what? I want to give it one more test here. We're going to get away from the racetrack and try it with a chase. Okay, the great chase test. So we'll see if this thing is as fast going forwards as it is backwards. As you can see, I gave it a little bit of a head start just to deal with the wheel spin at the start. Uh, this car over there is chasing another car, so all I have to do is see if we can keep up with this thing. So here we go. Oh. Okay, I think... Come on. It's definitely... Oh, I think we're on par now. I think I'm actually going fast. What the hell? I'm going faster. Why? Okay, don't go into the dirt. Oh, my God. This is so hard to drive backwards. I'm actually... 
<laughs> I did not expect that. I just wanted to see how close it was. I thought the aerodynamics of me going in reverse would kind of screw this thing up. It's amazing how stable this thing is in reverse, too. You got to remember, I have rear wheel steering now. And would you look at this? I'm, it's, I think it is exactly on par, actually. We were speeding up a little bit. I'm a little bit wobbly now, so it's having problems. Let's actually see. We're, we're at 158, and it seems to be max. Yeah, it's 158 forward, 158 reverse. It is officially as fast backwards as it is forwards. <laughs> I love it. Oh, there comes the car. Let's see if we can have a little bit of a collision here. Well, they sure as hell are. I'm totally going to miss them. So that's amazing. I thought the aerodynamics would come into play and make it go slightly slower. Clearly not. Well, now we know. So, um, yeah, these are some wheels, I guess. Uh, yeah, basically, this is a mod that has some of the weirdest wheels you thought possible. So, obviously, I thought we'd throw them on the SBR over here, and, uh, these are just simply called crazy wheels, and they definitely are that. We might need something... Oddly enough, with lower ground clearance, because we are hitting the ground with these things. So, let's just... Oh my god. Look, look, look at the speedometer right now. I'm going 245 miles per hour. Well, I'm not, but they are spinning that fast. Obviously, they don't have too much friction. Um, Actually, these work remarkably well. All things considered, I didn't realize... I didn't think these would, you know, work well at all. I'm obviously dragging some parts on the ground right now. We are really low... But we actually might go... Well, we're only at 100 right now, so I was I was thinking maybe we, we could go faster. Uh, just because of the lower ground clearance, it doesn't look like that's gonna happen. But the fact that I can drive this right now is very weird feeling. Trying to brake. I'm braking, but it's not really working because I have no friction. Oh, wow. I don't even... What are, are... These have to be metal or something. I don't, I don't even know what they are. They're just called crazy wheels. All right, this is probably going to uh, go extremely well. So we've had the bicycle wheels before, but we've never put them on a drag racer. To be fair, I haven't played much with uh, modding the actual cars in this game with different blocks. So, um, yeah, let's just hit the gas and... Oh my god, okay, I don't know how those things didn't explode. I am just spinning. <laughs> These are made for bikes, not for drag racers. Jesus Christ. <laughs> There's like no grip at all just because of the width of the wheels. There's just not enough friction going on. So I'm a beautiful ballerina, but that's not really the goal of a drag racer. Let's actually try and get up speed. So we're going to feather the throttle very, very slowly. I can't. I even, even feathering, I'm spitting out. Oh my God. Can we break these though? I'm going to break the engine before I break the actual wheels. They are some impressive bike wheels. I'll tell you that much. Look at the speed that they are spinning right now, and they're actually, they don't, there's not much flex at all, so I'm actually impressed with these little things. Uh, looks like the front wheels are buckling a little bit under the weight of this. Yeah, you can see we might have a flat here, that or we're just spinning so fast, because you gotta remember, we're going extremely slow right now. Speed it up a little bit, and, oh, dude, I love it! I love this so much and I don't know why, it's just, it's very pleasing to watch. What happens when we put some big-ass treads on the back here? Obviously, these are more for off-roading than dragging, but uh, you know we gotta try this. We're gonna keep the bicycle wheels on the front, because why not? Alright, we're gonna slow this thing down. Full throttle right away. This thing should have good grip. I mean... Wow, okay, we're spinning like crazy already. Ooh, look at the... look at the wheel shake. Backfiring a bit, changing the gears. Ooh. Ooh, we're getting some crazy wobble here, as you can see. These are not intended for drag racing right now. Oh my god, look at the whole back suspension right now. It doesn't know how to do this. Okay, let's speed this up, because I'm curious to see if we're going to rip the whole back off or not. Oh, why are we flying? Holy crap, that wheel made us fly. Did you see that? When it broke, okay, the wheel's off right now. There was actually upwards lift. I don't, I don't know if that's going to show on the video, but I felt it in the design. Oh my god. I gotta do this more often, just playing with random stuff, uh, because this is really fun. Okay, we're gonna try that full speed, see if we can- Yeah, it flies! The moment it, 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 it breaks the wheel? So I wonder- hold on, now, now I'm curious. Okay, this thing just looks badass, but I'm intentionally using the spike grabber. Oh crap, I forgot about that though, it actually sticks it on it if you're not going fast enough. Let's see if we can maybe rip through it. Problem is I put it in dirt as well. There we go. Okay, so we got definitely some of them. 
Not all of them, though. So I was really hoping we could actually break them all and see this thing fly away. Let's just see what happens here when we give it full throttle. See, it, the problem is it's also not four-wheel drive, so we're not going to get the front ones to actually break, probably. Look at this, though. It's actually getting lift. <laughs> oh, I'm just going to keep going. Oh, it slowed down. Oh, it's because we actually broke the wheel after afterwards. Oh, my God. What am I doing to this engine? Oil overheating? You don't say. Let's let's blow it. Oh, there she goes. <laughs> All right, we didn't we didn't actually combust. I was hoping that would happen. Okay, this is just so fun though. I love these weird wheels, man. They <laughs> just popped right off. Look, it's like a freaking top. Oh my god, <laughs> I love it. All right, guys. But on that, we're gonna wrap up another episode of BeamNG here. So yeah, another BeamNG update. It's always nice when that happens, and some pretty crazy wheels, literally, because that's what these things are indeed called. Now there was some cube wheels as well I wanted to try, but for some reason the texture's not working for me. Uh, so we'll have to check out those in the future. If you guys have any suggestions for other uh, vehicle add-ons that we can do, because I really like the idea of like building our own car. I mean, obviously we could do the whole automation thing too and try and build a car in that. Uh, but yeah, really enjoying these wonky wheels and whatnot, so I hope you guys are as well. And yeah, now we got electric cars of BeamNG. How fun is that? As always, guys, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.